Welcome to Tropicana Field, home of the 2008 American League champion Tampa Bay Rays. Benjamin Thomas Zobris was born on May 26, 1981 in Eureka, Illinois, to parents Tom and Cindy. Later on, Ben went on to go to Olivet Nazarene University where he met his wife, Juliana, whom he married in December 2005. The couple later on had their first child on February 1, 2009, and his name is Zion Benjamin. In the off-season, the Zobers live in Franklin, Tennessee, where they sometimes catch up with friend and Christian hip-hop artist Toby Mack. In his short career, Ben's already been able to do a lot of things that most major leaguers haven't been able to do in their entire career. He played in his first World Series game in 2008, his first All-Star game in 2009, and has already set team records in the single-game RBI department in 2011 for the Tampa Bay Rays. Zobris is definitely a player in which any team would love to have. More importantly, Ben's career is third to Christ and his family. In this piece, we'll see how Ben's faith plays out in his life as a Major League Baseball player. Ben, tell us about your childhood. Um, where did you grow up and uh, were you raised in a Christian home? I did uh, grow up in a Christian home. I was uh, raised in uh, Eureka, Illinois. Uh, that was the majority of my childhood was there. Um, and my dad is the pastor of a Bible church there, so I was uh, I grew up going to church on a regular basis. Uh, I heard the gospel from a young age and, and was taught uh, a biblical perspective of life um, from the time I was very young. So uh, I definitely did grow up in a Christian home. Well, everyone has a, their own unique story on how they came to know Christ as their Savior. Um, take a moment and tell us about your story, how you came, um, your own story of salvation. Well, I, I understood the gospel for the first time when I was uh, uh, very young, about five years old. I heard the gospel in Sunday school, and and I, I knew that um, if I uh, I was a sinner and that I needed a Savior um, in order to go to heaven someday. And I heard in Sunday school that the only way that I could go to heaven someday is through what Jesus did on the cross for me. If I would just believe that, then I could go to heaven. And um, you know, so I first accepted Christ at, at you know at that age, and first under, really understood everything. Uh, my mom helped explain it to me that night, and I accepted the Lord when I was uh, just a young young child. Um, and as I kind of grew up uh, in the faith, in in church on a regular basis, uh, it, my relationship with Christ uh, really kind of took a um, kind of took on its. Uh, it became personal to me. Uh, really something that wasn't just something my family all believed, wasn't just something all my friends uh, from church believed. It became something that I personally really uh, wanted to follow the re for the rest of my life when I was a senior in high school and I was really trying to decide where my life was going at that point. And I, I really had to, that, that's kind of when my faith really took, took a, a, a very deep turn um, towards uh, uh, really seeking out God in every part of my life and really really wanting to um, serve Him with my life. Well, we live in a day and age where uh, living out your faith uh, in life becomes more and more difficult. Um, how does your Christian faith affect everything you do on and off the field? Well, my, my Christian faith, um, it affects everything about who I am as a person. So it's inevitably going to affect um, all of my interactions with um, friends, family, teammates, uh, co-workers. Uh, fans, you know, every every people that I'm around are gonna um, see. Hopefully, they'll see Christ in me in the way that I live my life. Um, and obviously, it changes um, just who I'm accountable to. I'm not just accountable to people around me. I'm accountable to God in heaven. So, so obviously, there's there's a greater accountability with my life. There's a there's a greater purpose to my life than just what happens out on a baseball field or or even just uh, personal relationships with other people. Um, all those relationships um, with other people and, and the way that I go about my job, um, the way that I go about my life in general, all of that um, is is how I relate, how am I relating to God as I'm doing that. Um, so uh, I just kind of an understanding that God is over my whole life. And so, um, you know, I really need to ask him about how everything's going and really seek after what he wants for my life. Um, 
he's a, a very talented player. I mean, obviously, you know, he uh, has the ability to play a lot of different positions um, and, and play him well, you know, which uh, a lot of guys, um, you know, you can be versatile, but, but sometimes you're not as good at one uh, as you are on the other. And, and he's, you know, pretty much uh, good at all of them, which is, is rare to see. And, and um, you know, he's had good success. As long as I've been here, he's got a great work ethic, and he's, he's a great guy to be around. Well, let's look into your life as a ball player. Take us through a basic day. Let's use Sunday as an example. Um, walk us through a, a day in your life, what it's like on a Sunday when there's a game. Well, a Sunday game, uh, those are those are tough because we usually have a Saturday night game before a Sunday afternoon game. So we've got to come to the field earlier in the morning. Uh, we usually get here about 10.30 or so. Um, just start getting loose. If you have to go in the training room, you might have to get here a little bit earlier than that. Um, and talk to the trainers, let the trainers work on you, whatever's ailing you at the time. Uh, you might need to go uh, um, uh, do some hot tub, cold tub stuff just to try and get your muscles uh, going for the day. Uh, and then you pretty much head into the cage when, when you get a chance, head into the cage, do your, your hitting routine. And um, you know after your routine is, is finished and you're ready, you feel ready to, to go into your uh, your uh, game, then, then kind of at that point you, you just need to start preparing your body to, to get ready for the game. So you might go back, get, get a little something to eat, you need, need to uh, um, you know keep good fluids in you for the game and, and just uh, make sure your body is ready to go come 140 for a Sunday game for us. Now in the morning time, do you guys have to have devotionals or anything like that before you go into the game? We do. Uh, well, a su on a Sunday, I didn't mention this, but we, we have chapel every Sunday, usually around noon. Our chaplain uh, comes in and, and shares a message with us. For those of us that want to um, want to go to chapel, there's, there's usually about five to you know seven, eight guys um, that come in from the clubhouse and go, go to a different room here in the trop, and they allow us to uh, have a little chapel service. So. Uh, it, that's that's definitely a help. I heard you had a busy off season. You um, this past off season, you went to the U Ukraine with your family on a missions trip. Why don't you tell us about how that went? We did. You know, we have some uh, friends that are uh, ministers with FCA over there. They do FCA um, Fellowship of Christian Athletes uh, over there. They do sports ministry with the people over there. They've started a basketball league. Um, they work with schools and with uh, a lot, lots of young people to teach them about Christ through sports. They use sports as kind of the avenue to, to get to know them, um, to become friends, and then through that uh, they, they use um, their connection with them to uh, start relationships and share, the, share with them about Jesus. So we got a chance to go over there and kind of share with them. Um, you know, they, they're big fans of baseball, you know, even though the baseball's not big over there, they know me and that I play ball here in Tampa, so they're paying attention, and they know Juliana about her music, so she got, she did uh, a concert over there for their church, and um, she sang at a couple different places, and I, and I uh, went and spoke to a couple different sports groups that they're working with, and um, got to speak at their church as well, so it was just a chance for us to go and share in that ministry a little bit. Let's talk baseball for a minute. Obviously, you're a baseball player. At what point in time in your life did you decide, you know, I want to be a baseball player when I grow up? You know, it, that didn't really occur to me until I was in college. I didn't think it was, was, a, was a possibility until I was in college. Um, in high school, I didn't know anybody that ever played professionally in anything. So, to me, uh, playing college sports was, was as, probably as good as it gets. Then once I got to college and I was playing against guys that were playing professionally, uh, it became a reality that if I worked hard and I you know, became good enough at the college level, I might get a chance to play professionally. So it's, at that point, it really became somewhat realistic in my mind. Even if it wasn't to other people, you know, at the time I thought it was a possibility. Well, you're a, now you're an everyday starter for Tampa Bay Rays. You've been with the team since uh, 06. And, well, you play uh, just about everywhere. You're, you're uh, labeled as a super utility player. Um, what is your official position? Um, I mean, are there any positions that you don't play that you'd like to, maybe? Uh, you, were, you, you told me in the past that you were actually a pitcher, but that seems like the only position you haven't played for the Rays. I did. When I, when I went to college, I uh, pitched uh, for my first year. That was the majority of what I did. Then I, I started playing shortstop, so I became both a shortstop and a pitcher and played a little bit of second base in college. And when I got into professional baseball, they uh, um, just had me at shortstop all through the minor leagues. 
until I came up here and I was a shortstop here and um, eventually they made me into uh, a utility player. Started playing some of the outfield positions um, all over kind of on the infield and just um, just tried to be flexible so that you know I got, got some opportunities out there and it, it ended up working out really well. So now what I end up um, playing mostly is second base and right field with the team that we have this year. Now if we have injuries uh, or if some other things happen, I, I could be playing anywhere, who knows. Um, but as of right now, I'm playing second and right mostly.